two years of subsidizing this loan uh, and reaching a point where the DOT and uh, MILS and the county, we reached the point of saying that we do not continue to subsidize this program to the extent that we were. Uh, and we had to establish a deadline as a proposed business. Once we established that and began to promote that date, um, some of the sentiment was, well, why don't we go another six months on this? Because at that time, the city had indicated in a meeting with the chairman and the mayor and RDC, as well as the staff, the city would move forward and participate. The participation would be a reimbursement of the county for the expense that we were incurring. It was proportionate. Uh, we then found out that they would not uh, subsidize that. So we went ahead with the end of the program. Uh, any change of heart, anything you always do different than what we've done? Yeah. Well, I, I, mean, I, I don't think we can do any more than what we've already tried to do. We, we had those meetings, we had those discussions with the cities to see if there was an interest in them picking up this and keeping in mind, GDOT manages or administers this program, but it's a federal program. So consequently, GDOT has said, we know that you're not supposed to do it, maybe I can say that, but we're going to let you go ahead and continue to do it for a year. And they've done that three years now. Am I correct? About three years. So what it eventually came down to, as much as anything, is that the vendor themselves had gotten to a point to where they were really concerned about pressure from feds that they were out of compliance on 5311. Well, along with that and along with the issue of the city making the decision that they wouldn't cooperate with it or work with it, then they started selling assets. I mean, they started getting rid of the budget and stuff that they had. So even in the best case scenario, at the point of where we found ourselves at near the end of this, was that even if we could get them to agree to do it, they no longer had a lot of the assets that it was going to take to do it. So it was going to mean new purchases, which meant a higher price tag on it. So we just had to end it. And um, with the hopes that as time moves along, it's my understanding that the city of Valdosta has put in an application for 5307 funding. Now, whether they get that or they don't get that, Again, keep in mind that 5307 funding just provides for the infrastructure, buildings, maintenance buildings, buses, but it doesn't pay for any maintenance beyond that point. That's an initial, okay, we'll get you started, but now it's up to you to run it. Um, if they decide that that's the direction they want to go in, then that solves those urban to urban trips. Or if they come up with another plan, that's had discussed that they've had discussion about to be able to serve those urban to urban trips. That's going to be a decision that they're going to have to make. But I don't see, based on the vendor's decision, based on where we're at, um, I, I don't see anything else that we can really do unless somebody's pulled a rabbit out of a hat somewhere and says there's something else we found. So I just don't see that. We've done all we can do. Marcus and I had a conversation the first of the week. He had been uh, concerned about the very thing that you discussed, but it was from the standpoint of those drivers, some of the employees losing their jobs. Yeah, uh, and again, uh, like I just said, we, we talked earlier, uh, I commend everybody for willing to pay the city's portions if they wanted to do the service, but they're still not willing to do it. But, you know, it had real world implications. I mean, I 
I know some of the elderly. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, they played paid their debt in this community for years, 70 years old and so forth, and paid taxes and everything else, but I am only just assistance, you know. Kids move away what happened, but they don't have adequate transportation. Uh, I know a young lady that actually uh, worked for me. You know, they let her go, single mom, three kids. You know, that was her job. It has real world implications in that day, you know, that, you know, just appreciate everything we tried to do. Yeah, well, I mean, again, it's the same thing, Marcus, is that I feel like that for the last two and a half, almost three years, the county has stepped up. There were folks in other local governments that understood what the issues were, understood the urgency of this, and we were just kind of getting the grace to bump along for another <coughs> year. Um, and it appeared that as long as we bumped along, and they were going to be satisfied with us bumping along. Um, and certainly the issue of, okay, these urban to urban trips, we're supplementing them. Okay, we can do that. But do you not also have some responsibility? We can still be there. Those people can still have a job. And we can still be picking up urban to urban trips. However, all the way across the, the whole platform there is, is that that didn't happen. That's where we're at now. Um, I hate it as well for the people that lost their jobs. Um, those type things, they happen. It could be an industry, it could be any other business, it could be a lot of different things. But uh, this was an opportunity that we could have just gone too long and didn't develop. So consequently, we as the county really didn't have any other option because if you got somebody in the game as much as anything is that the vendor that also had made the decision, listen, we just can't do this. Yeah. Mark, you have to come in. The people who are using this service, uh, what kind of options do they have? Some of them um, qualify for other services through DHS, but not all of them. And that's how a lot of those service and the programs exist is that there are some people because of a disability or whatever their temporary medical condition is or, or why, why, or why is it they can't drive um, that, that can participate in this program. It was meant to be a, a stopgap. The, the problem for us, and there have been some changes to the rules that would help whoever wanted to pick up the big seven program is that it started on that, that fixed route system, which we know with all the studies that have been done with that fixed route, which is not something that our community um, uses. And so those 5307 regulations have been changed so that that route is not so stringent and it can be more of an on demand. Um, but again, it's just, you know, one of the, the gentlemen that I spoke to is in a wheelchair. He doesn't fall off any kind of transportation simply because of that through the um, Department of Human Services, um, but he has doctor's appointments that he has to go to, and he also goes to the YMCA and has exercises that his doctor recommends that he do because he has to keep moving so he doesn't get pneumonia and things like that. Well, he's depending on meds to get to the doctor and to <coughs> the YMCA. Well, if he doesn't, he can't get to the doctor and he's canceling his appointments, then his doctor will be as a patient for non-compliance. And so, those are the types of stories. Um, in the past, whenever we had the 2016, we had um, actually one of our former employees who had a daughter who was in a horrific um, traffic accident as a child and couldn't drive, but she attended Wiregrass um, for GED classes and other things. Or well, he and his wife could get her there in the morning, but he only then could leave work to get her home in the afternoon. And she was traveling from Wiregrass to one of those urban pockets in Hikara. So her trip no longer qualified for transportation and, and they were, you know, at an impasse because her quality of life was greatly improved because she had the opportunity to, opportunity to attend Wiregrass, but they weren't going to be able to let her go if they didn't have any transportation. So everyone that's called that we could try to run through and see if we could find some other services, we've tried to piece that together, but there are just some people that are not on the option for it. Right.
One thing to remember about the comment the chairman was making about subsidies. Um, NIPS would be receiving subsidies from DHS, and they were carrying a significant portion of this cost as well. So they were losing those funds. So if you were to do this, it would be at a higher rate than what you've done. Any other comments or questions <coughs> concerning this? So there is hope that there's a grant that's been filed for the uh, city of Alaska. Yes, of course.
Just like Clay said, we do have that responsibility from the standpoint of every citizen that lives within the boundaries of Lowndes County or Lowndes County, it doesn't matter whether they live in the municipality or not. So do you want to take on that responsibility? If you move forward with a 5307, number one, just for my thoughts, and this is very candid, you start discussions about 5307 on your own from Lowndes County, the city will cease anything with 5307 because the thought is why should we do it if the county is going to do it for us? How do we fund our 5307? Do we get on funds or do we have more special
for years about what they want to do about their transit system. Let them make up their mind what they're going to do, and then we react based on what that decision is, rather than us trying to say, okay, we're going to. Certainly, I think that all, you know, that all the decisions, we're not making really any decision here. We're just kind of forming a consensus. But ultimately, at the end of the day, that decision we can make is when they, or that's my understanding from the city manager is, is that his hopes were coming out of their retreat, he was going to have an answer on transit system for city of Iowa. The direction you've given so far is for us to look into it and determine the cost to be presented to you. I'm going to say right now, push pause until we see what the city does after their retreat. And then if we need to move forward with it from a cost standpoint to make that decision. Their retreat is coming up uh, next March. I mean, is that going to be enough time? But if you push pause until after that, you get word from there. Okay. That would be what I was asking. Anything else? Okay. Well, thank you very much.